Welcome to Food Fashion Travel. Today we're going to make a Surinamese soup called Chinese Thai soup. Okay, this is the end result. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. So, guys, we are going to make a soup today. It's Sunday, as I said before in my previous video, I guess. I hope I said it. Um, it's quite rainy in Paramaribo the coming days, and I think it's suitable to prepare a soup we call it in this country we call it chinese attire soup i think um in nigeria you guys call it coco yam right we call this chinese attire that's so let me know in the comment how you call this in your language and in your country so in my language specifically we say snake tire <laughs> in dutch we say chinese attire okay in general and i think some countries call this coco yam but we prepare soup with it so i have um a bowl of that i have coconut milk i have some muggy cubes long thai i have white pepper laos powder and ginger powder that's the only spices i'm going to be using i have fresh herbs this is celery i have lime I'm gonna use this to wash my meat, fresh tomatoes, Madame Jeanette pepper, onion, and garlic. And I have, of course, my sunflower oil. It would have been amazing to use coconut oil, but I forgot to buy it, so we move, okay? So that's that. So what the step, the first step that we're going to do is, you know, cut my tomatoes, you know, chop my onions and everything, wash everything and set it aside. I'm, I work very organized when I cook in the kitchen. I don't like to be all over the place. So I'm going to take my time, wash everything, uh, chop everything up, present it nicely before I start cooking. Okay. After doing all of this, I have to wash my meat, put everything in place and get going okay let's go so guys i already chopped my tomatoes my onion my garlic i have my madanchana pepper i have celery i have my spices i showed uh, i showed uh <laughs> i showed you <laughs> guys sometimes i can't speak okay so you know what i mean i already showed you in the a few seconds ago the spice i'm gonna use my coconut milk got my shnestaya and I have my meat now so after doing that I'm gonna continue with my meat and I'm gonna use lime to wash my meat guys I'm gonna use lime okay then what do I have I have chicken feet some of you don't eat it I understand I have chicken wings for the soup I have beef. I'm going to show you when I'm done washing everything, but just for you to have an idea. This is salted beef, by the way. And let's Guys, go. Guys, this is the salted beef. I'm going to pre-cook it before adding it to the soup because otherwise it might be too tough to eat. So this is the only meat I'm going to pre-cook before using it. So I'm going to wash it with water, just with water and cook it. So guys, my salted beef is on the stove at the moment and i'm gonna cook it like 15 to 20 minutes and while it's cooking i'm gonna continue with the rest of the meat uh, that i need to cook the soup done with the preparation these are all my ingredients that i'm going to be using so don't worry i will take you along the way let's go so guys our first step is um, put some water on the stove. I have about two liters of water. We're gonna allow it to come to a boil. And I already uh, presented my salted beef. Remember, we pre cooked it and I took the stock of the salted beef. We're going to add it to our soup later on, right? So I'm gonna cover the pot so that this can come to a boil the water. And then first thing that we're going to do is add some spices and the other ingredients that we have on this side. And later on, we're going to add our coconut milk, the meat, and other spices as well. But I'm going to take you along with me, so don't stress. We're going to allow the water to come to a boil now before we add some of the ingredients. So guys, let's start. The water is already quite hot almost coming to a boil i hope you can see it from here i believe so 
let me remove this from there because I don't want it to catch fire. So first we're going to add our cubes. I have five cubes and lone thai. I'm going to add that to the pot. I have white pepper, one third of a teaspoon white pepper. I'm gonna use some ginger powder and Laos powder, just a little, same goes for both of them, one third teaspoon. It's like we are making a stock, a meat stock. Okay, so I'm gonna put these both of, both of them away. Well, not both, I have three packs of my spices. While I'm cooking, I'm cleaning up. So whenever I'm done with something, I put it away right away. So I'm gonna just stir this a bit. And then we're gonna add the next thing. So next we're going to add our garlic, onion, and tomato. Well, I'm gonna wait with the tomato first, but the garlic and onion, I'm adding both of them to I have my celery I'm gonna use um, this part of it I'm gonna chop it up and I'm also going to add it to the pot and the, the rest of my celery, I'm going to add them later. Alright, so I'm going to add my celery now. I'm going to stir it a little bit. I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover the pot with a lid for three minutes before adding the next ingredient. So we're gonna get ready to add our coconut milk. I'm gonna shake it. Voila! My coconut milk is open. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer with the camera. I hope you still can see everything. So. And I'm gonna wash this off with a little bit of water just to get everything we have in it. All right. You see how the color has changed into a beautiful, it's like a bit of cream white color. So now we're gonna add our meat. We're first going to add the meat that takes more time to cook and later on we're gonna add the chicken that needs less time to cook, right? So we're gonna add the beef. Or in Dutch we call it kraakbeen soup and ribbe soup for the Surinamese people among, among us. So we're gonna add this meat first. And I'm cooking on high heat, by the way. So we're gonna stir it. 
wow and in a few minutes i'm gonna cover the lid and let it cook for about 20 minutes so we're gonna cover the pan so that it can cook for 20 minutes as i told you before and as we wait for this to cook we are going to peel our coco yam in my language we call it snail style to peel the snail style to peel the coco yam i'm I've added some cold water into this deep pan. I have I don't have more bowls, so I have to use this. So while peeling it, um, after peeling the kokoyam, I'm adding it to the water. Why? Because otherwise it's gonna get dry and it's gonna get another color. So while I'm waiting for uh, um, while I'm waiting to use the kokoyam, the snake style, I'm gonna add it to the water so that it can sit. So it won't get dry or change it its color. And it's not nice for it to be, become black or dark brown. So that's a tip when you're peeling kokoyam, okay? So guys, I'm done with the peeling the snake style, the kokoyam. I've added to, uh, it to water because I don't want it to dry. I have my... A bowl into the sink so I, I can properly wash it. I'm gonna put it in this bowl and then I'm gonna add water again to it until I'm ready to use it for the soup. So guys, let's check on our meat since we are done with the coco yam. <laughs> so this is what, how it looks like at the moment. Looks amazing. So we're gonna add our salted beef. I'm gonna use half of it. The rest I'll put it in the freezer for another dish. Now I'm gonna add my chicken now. Just like that, just like that, just like that. I'm gonna give it a nice stir. And I'm gonna put the lid back on the pot and allow it to cook for about maybe 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And we're going to check how it goes. It's time to add our coco yam, our sneeze style. We're gonna add it with the water that we have added to the bowl. And I'm gonna add my Madame Chanel paper on top. And put the lid back on and allow this to cook. This is how far we are with the soup. And right now I'm going to add the bouillon that I got from pre-cooking the, uh, the salted beef, the salt flakes. Dus de zoutvlees uh, bouillon heb ik nu toegevoegd voor de smaak. Dit komt weer aan de kook. En als het eenmaal aan de kook is gekomen, ga ik een deel van de uh, chinees thai hierin doen. So, as this is going to cook, I'm going to add a part of the chinees thai, the coco yam, in this. And mash it up a little bit, so that the soup can be a bit thick. That's what I'm looking for. 
I'm also going to taste it again and see if the flavor is balanced. If not, I'm going to add some extra cubes. I also need to add some fresh tomatoes as well. I'm this with the back of my spoon. Add my fresh tomato now I cut three of them and I'm gonna mix this I'm gonna allow this to cook for two minutes this is the soup it doesn't need any extra uh, cubes I've put the three extra cubes I was about to add away I tasted it um, it has perfect perfect taste especially when I added the salted beef bouillon, the stock. So here's my mashed coco yam, my snake style. I'm going to add it to the pot of soup and I'm going to mix it. This will make sure that our soup will thicken and also really taste like snake style soup. It will really taste like coco yam. So, okay, we're gonna mix this well. Well, is I would say it's done. So I'm gonna add my fr the rest of my fresh celery to the soup. It's gonna give it a beautiful color because you still see a bit of the red of the um, tomatoes. And we're gonna stir this up. And this is our chinese attire soup, guys lots of flavor that's it thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like this video comment put your notification on also follow me on tiktok i'm gonna add the link to this video so you can also follow me on tiktok as well bye thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe like this video drop a comment show your girl some love and i'll see you the next time ciao